Thanks for the warm welcome, ladies. Battle of the Vikings in Spartanburg as Spartanburg hosts Spring Valley. Pick it up first quarter, Raheem Jeter, Spartanburg's star quarterback. Back to pass, connecting with Jace Staggs for the 25-yard gain in a Spartanburg. First down, next play, Jeter with a handoff to Brett Carter. Picks up 20 yards and he gets down to the five, just matriculating the ball down the field with some big plays. First and goal, Spartanburg. A couple plays later, Jeter with a handoff from the two. It looks like a fumble in the end zone, resulting in a touchback. But the initial call is a touchdown. The officials get together and the call stands. Spartanburg goes up seven to nothing and they go on to beat Spring Valley 37 to 29. Hey, welcome back to Fairway Forward Friday Night Hits. The Hillcrest Rams rolling right along. Winners in eight straight won their region by knocking off previously unbeaten TL Hanna in the first week of the regular, in the final week of the regular season, I should say. Hosting Ridgeview out of Columbia with a trip to the Upper State Semifinals on the line. Student section showing out in Simpsonville, making some noise for the Rams and plenty to cheer for. Fast-paced game. Hillcrest goes right down the field on their first drive giving it to their guy on the goal line logan cauldron in for the short score seven nothing hillcrest ridgeview right back at him third and seven andre washington seeing nothing takes off washington down the sideline by george crossing the delaware a 45 yard gain puts the Blazers in scoring position, and a couple of plays later, Joshua Holmes would capitalize, diving through Ridgeview, evens the game at seven. Early in the first, Hillcrest marches straight back down the field, and it's Cauldron again. Ram tough, putting Hillcrest back in front. Punch, counter punch between Rams and Blazers, but it's Ridgeview coming out on top, 47 to 41, and Ridgeview will play Spartanburg next week. From one to the Rams to another, Westside hasn't lost since the calendar flipped to October. Five straight wins, hosting Irmo in the second round, but the Yellow Jackets up 26 to six in the second half. Rams trying to rally. Owen Skelton finds Cameron Spatafina on the fade, cuts in the lead, but Westside's still down 12. Irmo answers quickly. Isaiah Whiteside hits Diari Rogers, and Rogers outraces the defense on his way to the pylon. Yellow Jackets, Yellow Jackets extend their lead, and Westside's season comes to a close, 42 to 20. The Southside Christian Sabres have won 18 straight, dating back to the beginning of last year, hoping to move one game closer to a repeat title tonight, hosting C.A. Johnson. And this one, all about the Sabres from the very beginning of the game. Southside Christian getting the jump on the Green Hornets. Ja'Cory Martin goes in on this five-yard touchdown run. It's 7-0 Southside Christian in the first quarter. Now they're up 14-0. and. Martin goes up the middle to make it 21-0, and this was the story of the night for Southside Christian. They put up a whole lot of points, and they beat C.A. Johnson 42-14. They'll play Calhoun County next week. Rivalry round at St. Joe's. Christchurch looking for their second win this season over the Knights. Cavs won 28-22 back in September. Points at a premium this time. Constantine Gandis' kick, no good. Still scoreless in the second half. Christchurch putting together a good drive. Grayson Clue, the pitch into the red zone and he would get dragged down just shy of scoring and that play would prove to be crucial because on second and goal from the one great Scott Harrison Scott forces the fumble St. Joe's recovers nary a touchdown scored in this game but Gandis gets the late field goal and Christchurch wins three to zero they'll take on Newberry next week. Crescent making the ride down toward Columbia to face great collegiate Tigers having a tough time slowing down Gray's Casey Adams and Adams doing his thing in this one. Great collegiate wins big over Crescent 58 to zero. That'll do it for round two of the playoffs. Have a great weekend.